don't feel about my college being like so touristy. I mean, just look at all these people. And they're just here to like tour the place. It's crazy. I wonder if Salisbury would ever, would ever become that big. Good morning, happy Saturday. Hope everybody had an awesome Saturday. Today is January 19th. And it feels like I have not been on here in weeks. And I know it hasn't been weeks. I just finished editing and uploading the vlog from the 13th, which was how many days ago? I can't do math. How many days ago was that? I was taking some time to settle in. I went through the first week of my internship. I was doing stuff for school. I was tired. And it's just, I didn't get to it. But I'm picking it back up. Oh, my goodness. It's like 11.30. I slept all the way in this morning. And now I'm about to get up. Finally. Hello, oh, beautiful sky. Natural light. This is gorgeous. Every time it's looking this pretty, I'm at work. Like, I leave this room, and it's dark. I get home, it's dark. So I miss stuff like this. But you know what? That's the joy of Saturday and Sundays. Because I I haven't, I'm not missing this today. This is, this is nice. And don't mind my hair. I really need to wash it today. But I've neglected it because I've been wanting to sleep rather than wash hair. Well, basically, we have a an activities coordinator. And she puts on activities for us. So yesterday was Irish dancing. I was really close to going and I ended up not going because I still have my marketing class that ends like next week and we got this group project and it was it was crazy so you know I just felt kind of I don't know my conscience didn't let me do it plus I kind of I'm not a dancing kind of person I don't know I was just gonna go because everybody else was going but then when I weighed my options it's kind of like no you know plus I kind of want to sleep you know boring and then today they went to brunch at like 11 a.m. and I was like 11 a.m. like oh my gosh y'all sleep Phew, but I am going out today I want to go to Trinity College uh, they have this thing there it's called the Book of Kells which is like a really I don't know I guess a popular great book I think it's the gospel that's really really old it's like from 800 AD and it's really beautifully illustrated and it only open like two pages at a time or something like that but it's like ten dollars to get in there but it's free for students so I'm gonna see if an American student can get in for free or do I have to be a student at Trinity we're gonna see I may be seeing a book of Kells today I may not be seeing a book of Kells but I do want to go to Trinity College and just walk around and at least go sit in their library you know I like libraries. I'm a nerd. So in my last video I said that I didn't know like what this was, but I found out what it is. It's a whole kettle. See, you just turn it on and it heats up your water all quickly for your coffee. Isn't that amazing, Andy? Yeah. See? Yes, it's amazing. See, oh, see now you know. It's for your coffee. Because I actually haven't found any K-Cups in this country. And I'm not sure if they don't do Keurig here, but no K-Cups, but you got that. But you know what? perfectly all right all right so desk is cleaned off for the most part i dumped all the stuff out of my backpack and i have on this backpack uh let's see books chargers everything's in here all right let's go to trinity college <music> streets I was walking on coming here oh my goodness but it says I'm almost there so that's good I think it's right over here somewhere so it says I'm here but I'm guessing this is the college where millions of people are walking into okay that's fine let's go yep this is it here's the college but it said only authorized tour groups are allowed in here and I kind of just stuck myself in so you know we'll see I know this grass is crazy green probably because it rains so much this is the oldest university in Western Europe because it was founded in 1592 that is crazy that there was like a whole world before I graced the world with my presence in 96 like that's just crazy 
All right, time to walk around without a tour group. I really don't know how I would feel about my college being like so touristy. I mean, just look at all these people. And they're just here to like tour the place. It's crazy. I wonder if Salisbury would ever, would ever become that big. I wonder if they put on like big parties in this area or is the college too prestigious for that? Does Harvard have big old parties on campus? That's a good question. I don't know. I know I'm really feeling this architecture. I love how there's that little bit of modernness around all this 1500th century-ish. It's so nice. And look at this grass, y'all, so green. An entire other side of the campus. Ooh, look, art. Interesting, you could just walk up and touch it. Oh, right there. Please touch. All right, I'll touch it. But what is it? All right, why should I touch it? All right, I touched it. I know this is a library that I will be going into as soon as I finish doing my rounds around this campus because it is beautiful. I love watching this YouTube channel called Hope for Paws and this is what they put up to trap the dogs so that they can catch them. Looks just like this. Ooh, that building looks so important. Like the president's office could be in there or something. I'm trying to read what it says. Something Institute of, I don't know. And then look at that one. I love architecture. I could have been an architecture major. I just don't like math. Looks so serious. Oh my goodness. Looks so serious. All right, time to go back into that library. I'm hoping and praying I can get into it because I love libraries. Plus, I still have schoolwork to do. So just let me into it. Let me connect to your Wi-Fi. Let me do some work for a couple of hours. Oh, wait a minute, I spot an interesting building. Look at that one. It looks like it's made of completely wood. I might go over there, but I really wanna go into this library. Those kids are actually turning that piece of artwork. You see this? They're actually turning it. I guess it was meant for that. All right, into the library. Library is not for public. Okay, that's fine. That's okay with me. Oh, this is to see the Book of Kells. Nope, walking right past. Well, I still brought all my books and stuff, so I guess plan B would be to find a library that I can be allowed into. I mean, what majors did they have back in the 1500s? Like, what majors? And then, what kind of dorms did they have? I'm gonna have to look that up. Well, you can't go wrong with Starbucks, so I think I may go sit in the Starbucks for a while, see how their coffee prices compare to American coffee prices. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully I can find a seat, because it is Saturday. It is 3.40. I finished my studies for the day, and I'm about to go take a video of this fountain, because I like fountains, and then I'm gonna head on back. Went into this fancy looking spa, and I didn't even get anything, which is good. I still need to go to the grocery store, though, whenever I see one that I wanna go into. Oh, the city council. I heard that's a good place to go people watch. Another day, though. What in the world? What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Oh my goodness. And I know that water's cold. And you're just swimming in it. Alright. I tell you. Is that a whole bicycle? That's a whole bicycle. I tell you. That's interesting just so happens that I spontaneously found this pharmacy because this tooth over here, I don't know if it's on the top or the bottom, it's been sensitive and painful since last night. So I went ahead and bought some $6 Sensodyne toothpaste or whatever it's called. Oh my gosh. But now I need to go to the grocery store still. All of my stuff from Lytle in my backpack and this bread that I'm carrying, and guess how much it came to? My total came to $9, all this stuff I got. You know what? This is why I love Lytle, Aldi. I love all of them. Y'all look at the clouds. The camera's really not doing it justice, but they're gorgeous. They're like pink and orange and cloudy. It's so cloudy here. All right, let me show y'all what I got from the Lytle. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Is it Lytle? Lidl? My other friend was saying Lidl. I'm pretty sure it's Lytle. Let me show y'all what I got from the Lytle and that total done came to $9. Um, I feel like I got a lot of stuff. I got another, uh, 
loaf of bread. This one isn't just white bread like what I got last time. This is Best Balance. It says taste of white with the benefits of whole wholemeal. So I'm like, okay, that should be a little bit better because white bread, it's, I don't know. I don't know why I got that the first time. Uh, I got some bagels to go with my cream cheese. I got some cool ranch dip, even though it's not called cool ranch dip. It's cool sour cream and chive dip. This is some cream cheese, some regular cheese to go in my eggs and my sandwiches. Some more cream cheese. I know what y'all are thinking, Alexa, this is a fattening haul, but you know what? Look, whatever. This is the Sensodyne I got from the pharmacy. I'm so glad they had that. Like, oh my gosh, I need to brush my teeth. I got some vegetable medley. This is broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots, so this should be better than the last one. The last mixed vegetables had a bunch of peppers or something in it, and I wasn't really feeling it, so broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Good. I got some cheese and crackers. This is to go on my lunch. Uh... I'm gonna try to save it for next week. I'm probably not gonna save this for next week. But it originally was to go on my lunch. But you know, oh well. And then I got one bag of chips to go with uh, that dip and another bag of chips to go with that dip. One of these bags is gonna be to snack on like at home. The other bag is gonna be for lunch. That's why I bought two of them. And that's my whole $9. I mean, yes, yes. Oh. But, all right, it is 4.47. Um, I need to wash my hair. I need to brush this side of my mouth with that Sensodyne. And I always got homework I could do because I'm still a student. But, all right, y'all, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thumbs the video up. And I will talk to y'all another day. Bye-bye.